Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing. My name is Brianna. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, so today I'm filming a video all about my makeup bag because like a month ago I was on the hunt for like a bigger makeup bag that's perfect for travel. So I was looking at the Makeup Forever one that's like a hundred and something dollars and the Sephora brand one that's bigger that's also over a hundred dollars. And then I was actually contacted by a company off of Amazon for this amazing makeup bag and it could not have been more perfect timing or a, even a better bag. Like this bag is perfect. So before I started looking for a new makeup bag at all I was using this Caboodles. I think it's called like the Weekender makeup bag from Ulta. I bought it on sale for like $30 and it obviously is a very good size bag. Um, it zips all the way across, it's got handles and then like compartments on the inside. Um, but I just wasn't happy with it because whenever I would go on vacation I would have to take literally like everything out and on the countertop and it's already so big. And then I just had different little bags that I would keep different things inside and then you know I just didn't like it for travel so that's why I wanted another one. So this is my new makeup bag from Vasker. I have a little strap on it but you can put the straps on like a backpack. You can put them on like four different kinds of ways, but I just have this one to just kind of throw over my shoulder, even though when I travel, I put it in my carry-on in my suitcase. Um, so this is the large makeup bag from Vasker. They do have a smaller one, but of course I wanted the bigger one. And you guys, this bag is $32, $32. That is like way, way less than the ones that I was looking at. And if you've looked on Sephora for big makeup bags too, you've seen how expensive they are. And I know the Mac ones are pretty expensive. So like this thing could not be more perfect. And I know this is kind of silly, but I've been saving the box that it came in because I just thought it was so nice. It has like all these different like kind of cosmetics on it and it says Vasker. Um, but this is the box that it comes in. I thought it was so cute. So I wanted to show it in the video, even though it obviously needs to go in the trash because I have no use for it. Um, but I just thought it was super cute. So it comes in this box. Um, of course, it's Amazon Prime, so I got it in two days. Like, oh, it's the best. Today was the perfect day to film this video because I just got back from Edinburgh, Scotland yesterday. And I, like I said, carry my makeup in my carry-on because I watched them load the bags onto the plane and they throw the damn things on the conveyor belt. And I was like, no, if you break my palette on a vacation, I'll be very upset. So I started carrying it on. But my big luggage, my actual suitcase with my clothes and toiletries, all that kind of stuff, it got left at the Chicago airport and did not make it to Birmingham with us. So um, still the perfect day to film it because this was in my carry-on, but um, everything was still packed up from the trip. Um, and then let me kind of show you guys the inside and the different compartments. So this is what the inside of the bag looks like. And I put, I'm gonna put a still shot of like what it looks like when it comes to you in the mail. Um, because these little dividers right here actually come out. So you can customize how you want your things to fit in your bag, which is amazing. So it's got the longer ones and then like the little short ones right here. So the only thing, I'll, the only complaint I have about this bag is that when I took mine out, it started to come unglued, which is obviously really easy to fix, but sometimes it happens in the bag. So it might just need a little bit more glue, um, but they just kind of like lock down into one another. So you can move around the compartments however you want to. And then since it's like kind of like foam, like a padding, it protects like your powder things in there. So I'll film from above so you guys can see without me like struggling, but I wanna show you the bag first. So up here, it has a place for all your brushes. Um, which is really convenient. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna put my brushes in there. I don't really think it's necessary. Um, so I had this little Morphe tote that pops open um, like this and everything just kind of lays flat. But I do like this bag because you sit it up on, up on top of the counter in the hotel, flip the flat back, and then you can just keep sticking your brushes in there. I even have my mascaras, eye liners, all that kind of stuff in the little brush container too because there's so many different compartments. I will say though that since my brushes are bigger, sometimes it does make it kind of complicated to zip. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind when you're putting your brushes in here if you have a lot because I don't own a lot of brushes and I definitely don't travel with a lot of brushes just like the necessities so it can make it kind of difficult to zip so then if you unzip this back part right here it has another compartment um, it's got this little mesh zipper right here this is where I keep my palettes when I go on vacation and then on the other side you have a pouch now if you are more how would I put this realistic and not so over the top like me when you travel you don't need like 30 different lipsticks so this would be the perfect place to put lipsticks um, it just like has a little pull out pouch with velcro and then you have a zipper pouch right here that would also be good for lipsticks but again you don't want to put too much stuff in here because then it won't zip that well and if you don't want to carry it by the straps it does have this handle right here 
So this is the bag that I keep all of my liquid lips in because again, I'm over the top and I feel like I need so many options and I really only wear like one or two while I'm there. Um, but this is another little caboodles bag that I bought with a bigger set like a couple years ago. And I just like that one for my lip products. Okay, so my makeup table is a bit of a mess, but this is what the top view of the bag looks like. So right here, I brought three different pairs of false lashes, my Icon Drunken Loves that I've been obsessed with, some Huda lashes, and these Lily lashes. Then I have my bronzers right here, and then a little Mercier Radiance held right there. So I've got bronzer, highlight, and blush there. My Huda baking powder there. Excuse me, Graham. You <laughs> burp. Um, eyelash curler, my Tarte light treatment, my sharpener, um, paint pot, my brow gel, and then over in the big compartment right here, this is where I keep my foundations, setting sprays, primers, concealers, all that good stuff goes in the bigger compartment right there. Um, and again, you can customize how you want all these compartments. So if you needed more space for your foundation, you just move this divider over. Um, so I'll show you some of the small ones. So if I wanted more space right here, I would just take this divider out and now it's a longer compartment. Or if I wanted to make them smaller, I would add back in one of these, three of these and four of the small ones. So, so you can really customize it to however you want, which is amazing. And then for the brushes, that's how those are stored. And then you have your little compartment right here that you can put things in. Or like me, you can have your palettes in the mesh zipper at the bottom. But that is really it for the makeup bag. I just had to make this video to show you guys because it is so good. And I know I've been on the hunt for this bag in particular and it's only $32. So I'm gonna leave the exact link down to the Vasker page on Amazon. They have other like cosmetic things too, like um, plastic like spatulas that are reusable. So for me as a makeup artist, I don't use like foundation brushes. I use like um, one of the like paint brushes that is a foundation brush, like just to paint the foundation on and then I blend it out with a sponge. So those are perfect because they don't soak up so much of the foundation and I can just reuse them. So they've got those, they've got sponges, like other little holders and things. Um, but most importantly, they have this, this amazing makeup bag for only $32. And then if you don't want this big, but you still like the concept, they do have the smaller version too. It just doesn't have the um, extra compartment for palettes and things at the top. So if you guys went on the hunt, I hope this video helped you out and kind of showed you some of the things that I bring with me on vacation and how I pack my makeup. Hopefully if you guys order this bag, you love it as much as I do because it is so bomb. So like all the dimensions and everything like that is in the description of the actual product that I'm gonna leave linked down below. But if you guys have any other questions about the bag itself and things that I put in or whatever that I didn't answer in this video, just leave me a comment down below in the description box. So if you guys enjoyed, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.